Hello guys and girls and welcome to the next episode of Civilization 6 Rise and Fall with me here on Biffa Play Strategy. Thank you very much for uh, uh, for making this possible. 2K, I do appreciate you providing this for me. I always get that sentence the wrong way around. You know what I mean. Thank you 2K for allowing me to play this and we're going to dive in to our next playthrough. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell as well so you get notified of any new videos from here so who are we going to be this time we are going to pick genghis khan he has some very interesting uh, additions which uh, we are going to dive into so i've also put in these other guys and girls here which are the other uh, unique civs that are in the game or the new civs that are in the game so i thought we'll play up against those we'll see how they go so the Mongol Horde, all cavalry units gain plus three combat strength and a chance to capture defeated enemy cavalry class units. So you get in a bit of a war with somebody, they've got cavalry units as well. You can capture theirs, your army grows. Very interesting, uh, very interesting, unique ability. Uh, we have the or two. So if you start a trade route, it immediately creates a trading post in the destination city. You receive an extra level of diplomatic visibility for possessing that trading post in any city of a civilization. So it's really trying to get you to send trading out to lots and lots of different places. And it's like sort of you're sending a spy, isn't it, into there? Um... All Mongolian units double the usual combat bonus for having a higher level of diplomatic visibility than their opponents. So that's going to help as well. Almost like a free spy network. Then we have the Ordu, a building unique to Mongolia. It grants an ability that gives... Oh, can't put the mouse on. It gives plus one movement to heavy and light cavalry trained in the city. Plus 25% combat experience for all cavalry class units trained in the city. Excellent. So may not be built in an encampment district that already has a barrack. So, like a replacement for the stables, gives you extra extra bonuses to your cavalry that we're going to be aiming for. Speaking of which, we have the Keshig, the Mongolian unique medieval era range cavalry unit. So, whether we'll get that far, I don't know, but we shall try our best. Can escort moving civilian and support units at their higher movement speed. So, ah. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, the reason for picking this one, like I said, because we're limited to 150 turns, um, some of the uh, bonuses that they get come in much later in the game, and we may not get that far. I think we'll probably see quite a bit of stuff here with the trade routes and stuff with Genghis Khan. So we'll go for that. We're going for a standard game speed prince. So standard level, everybody's level, me and the AIs. Fractual map to make it interesting. And let's start it up and listen to what Sean Bean has to say. Any minute now, Sean. Over to you. When you're ready. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Genghis Khan. Your cunning built Mongolia an empire from the back of your horse. Always charge to meet enemy cavalry, for a victory can draw them to your ranks. Send your swift and powerful Keshig archers to hasten your citizens across the land. Soon, the steady drumbeat of Mongolian cavalry is a sound you will teach the world. I wonder if Sean Bean speaks like that all the time. I would like a cup of tea with two sugars and milk my wife i don't know whether he speaks like that i don't know anyway so this is going to just run through uh, the things that we know about the new items in the game there we go there we go we're not going to run through that all again if you want to know what they are look at my episode one of my Cree playthrough and here we go what do we have here Looks like a good spot for a city. We have horses. Excellent. That is what we need. We have wheat. We're going to get copper. We have some hills. We have... I'm assuming a bit of fresh water around here as well. We have some wheat. Do you know what? I am going to settle right there. No real reason to move anywhere. Let's just have a quick look over here. Oh, we're going to get furs as well. Let's found a city. Why not? That's good. Choose production. What shall we go for? Well, 
I quite often want to go for the slingers. So we can jump up to archery. We want to get, if possible, the keshig, which is all the way over here. Um, 179 turns. Well, as it stands at the moment, we don't uh, have the ability to get that far in the game. <laughs> so maybe not. Um, but what do we need to work on what we've got here? Uh, we can do that. Animal husbandry, animal husbandry, mining. Animal husbandry it is then. Let's go for that. Uh, let's change that to just animal husbandry. There we go. Excellent. And then I'm going to go for a slinger. Um, so we can try and jump our way to archery if possible. When we find some barbarians. So let's have a look around. Um... Let's go back this way. This is obviously a coast around here. Next turn. There we go. Let's have a look around here. See what we can see. So, Quara Corum. Quara Quara Corum. Like Aha. to the apples on the Dead Sea shore. All ashes to the taste. Lord Byron, thank you very much. So, two tile, natural wonder. It appears as the lake provides plus two faith, plus two culture, and fresh water. Units heal completely if they heal for one turn adjacent to the Dead Sea. No way. It has healing properties. Our civilization has accomplished something has Excellent. And we boosted astrology because we found a natural wonder. So we have our first three points. Mongolia makes history. We find the Dead Sea. Can't see any scrolls around there, but that is that is fantastic. We can heal up if we find anybody down there. Uh, let's have a look at our score. Three. Excellent. So, and also the extra culture. I don't think it will show us that until we're actually... No, we can't do that. So, that's good. That's fine. Keep that in mind for maybe another city down here, depending on what the uh, lay of the land is. Let's run around here. Hmm, very good. Interesting, interesting. Okay, can we... What are we on? Two and two. Two and... Uh, four and two. No, we'll leave it like it is. Uh, yep, yeah, we'll run around here. So, fractal map. Be interesting to see what we sort of end up with. I thought we'd try something a bit different, because why not? Oh, a little village. Thank you kindly. Oh, some Mongolian throat singing in the background. That sounds good. We will grab that in a moment. Let us go for... Let's go for a scout. Then we'll go for a monument. Uh, this guy, I'm going to sort of send him out this way. Yeah, and see what we can see what we can find. I'm hoping this is going to give me a nice bonus. Oh, it is a scout. Well, forget that then. Let's go for a monument. Or we could go for a builder. Uh, yeah, let's go for the builder first. Very good, very good. Okay, let's send you out. Oh, there we go. Tribal village, an extra era score. Don't mind if I do. Uh, let's send you to the edge. Uh, yeah, that is a is the edge of the water. There. I mean, we could have moved over and had a uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, if we'd moved over one, actually, we would have had a, a sea on the edge of the sea there. But never mind. I know what will happen. We'll find that's an inland lake and it won't make any difference anyway. <laughs> so, there we go. Right. So, at least we know no barbarians are going to come from this direction. Could it's all... I'm going to go around here. I'm going to go there next. Could it's all sea or coastal tiles. I am fond of pigs. Good. I like pigs as well. Let's move you up there. Let's choose our research. So, Holy Sight, Stonehenge, Wonder, Free Great Prophet. May found a religion on Stonehenge instead of a Holy Sight. Must be adjacent to stone and on flat land. Can you see any stone anywhere? No. Mm, no. Okay, well. Darn. How about... I mean, sailing... I haven't sort of seen any fish or anything down there. Let's maybe put a bit... Shrine. Let's put a bit into archery and see how we get on with that. Okay, nothing up there. Next turn. I mean, if we don't find anybody else down here... Oh, it's looking like we could be on 
A little island down here. Yeah, that's the sea over there as well. Okay, good. So we know this side's safe. Uh, let's bring you back around here. Aha, Cabal. What does Cabal do? Let's have a look. Plus two production in the capital and production units. Okay. Same as Carthage in our last one. That's good. I like a good production. Good production one. Um, City-state meeting bonus. You've earned one envoy there because I met them first. Yes, nice. So are we actually getting that? We are. We are we're getting the bonus. Fantastic. Trigger a Eureka for masonry. What would that be? Uh, the Eureka for my build a quarry. Okay. Um, and we're going to get quarry down here on mining, aren't we? Quarry, yeah. All right, well, we'll do the best we can, although we have no stone at the moment. Is that like the edge of there? It is. Okay, this is definitely a sea down here. Let's head back round up this way. Yeah, we'll go across here. I mean, an encampment could appear at any spot, really, couldn't it? That isn't like this. Isn't within our visual range. Let's have a wander this way. So if we can find one, that is good. Ah, Code of Lords. Magic. Perfect. Right. Double experience will take that. Plus one faith in the capital and gold. Yes, please. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, you're going to head back up this way. I may even just send you home, I'll be honest. And let these two guys wander around. Right. Let's have a look. Improve three tiles, discover a second continent. Let's put a few turns into that. Until we find a second continent. Uh, you're not going to let me pass. Okay, well, fine. You're going to stay there. Next turn. Quick sip of tea. Hurrah, we have a builder. Right, you're going to come around this way, and then we we'll maybe just sort of head back over here. Production. Let's get that monument. We keep promising ourselves. So we can actually get all three of these. Let's do that. Horseback riding. Excellent. That is what we want to see. Ooh, another encampment. Let's head this way. Uh, you know what I mean. One of these little things. Villages. A hut to pop. And we, we shall pop it. Okay. Yeah, let's bring you back over here. Good, he's done. He's got two builds left. Let's build on there. And then hopefully, boost the navigation. Perfect, we can then mine on top of that. Um, we'll have one more turn in here. And then we'll switch that out for mining. And then we can build on there. Yeah, there we go. Let's switch that. You're going to come back home. Um, you're going to go here and wait. You're going to take that. Thank you very much. Oh, we're boosting everything at the moment. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, there's land over there. So, there we go. Another score. That little village. Thank you very much. A gift. What gift did they give us? Oh, yeah, we boosted that. Um, strength to our budding cities. Hmm, not quite sure what they did. I missed the pop-up, but there we go. A short of something good. Two two rolls or something. I've heard of those. They're an American thing, aren't they? <laughs> uh, let's bring you in here. Uh, you are going to sleep until mining is done. Okay, let's continue. Aha! There we go. Excellent. Boosted foreign trade, which is good because I'd taken my eye off the ball. Another continent. So if we look down here, uh, continent. There it is. We were in Chimeria. We found Kernorland. Do you live in Kernorland? And we get a boost for that. Plus four era score. Wow. We are absolutely flying. And there's another one of those. New continent. Civic boost. Perfect. Let's head this way. Still no barbarians, which is... Which is odd. Uh, you're going to fortify that. Uh, let's sneak over here. Yeah, I want to grab that next turn. You can sneak this way. Can't believe there's no barbarians <laughs> around here. But hey-ho, what can you do? I'm sure some will spawn, like, in the middle here somewhere. When all these units are miles away, that's what's going to happen. Yay! 40 gold and promotion. Because we're on the double promotion exploring thing. 
So we should really make another Mongolian scout, shouldn't we? What is that? Spicy. I'm it's like an Indian takeaway with rice and woohoo. There we go. And yep, you'll get that next time. And another new continent, Siberia. Nice. Okay, very good. We're discovering all the continents today. Yep, let's upgrade you. Faster movements in wood and rainforest. Faster movements on hill. As always, six of one, half a dozen of the other. We'll go for that one this time. Right. What do you reckon? I mean, we're up to a three. We could settle another city. Let's do another city. Let's expand. We've got nobody causing us any problems around here at all. Which is fantastic. So we can expand really well. Candy, hello. You've got some Mongolian folk singers. I can hear that. Excellent. Uh, we have an envoy there. What are you going to give us then? Plus two faith in the capital. Perfect. Uh, are you being uh, influenced by anybody else? No. Interesting. Uh, Trigger Eureka for writing. What would that be? It's not listed on there. Let's have a look over here. Uh, I've probably gone too far. It's down here. Yes, of course. Meet another civilization. And then, what would you give us for that? Uh, one envoy. Well, we've just got to meet another civilization. That is, hopefully, going to happen at some point. Don't know when. As our civic knowledge grows... Yeah, every nation civics. lives by X. Nice. Okay. Plus 100% production to an ancient classical era naval unit. Plus two gold from all trade routes. We have neither. So we're going to stay with that and stay with the double experience points. Thank you very much. And what are we going to go to? We want to get this. Um, improve three tiles. We will be there very soon. So we could start working on this. And then we'll get the boost, I'm sure, very, very soon. Very soon. Oh, we have a trade route. Nice. Let's go that way. Wow, I can't believe there is nobody here. This is nuts. This is absolute nuts. I, could I... I could he deserves more credit than the one. Here we go. So let's get this guy to build a mine. There we go. Craftsmanship is boosted. Fantastic. Knowledge of the wheel was boosted. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, still not okay with that. Barbarians. We haven't got that one yet. Masonry. Ancient walls. Pyramids. Battering ram. Harvesting of stone. We don't have any. Granary, wheat and rice. Oh, so are we not actually getting the wheat at the moment? Let's get pottery then. Oh, another little villagey hut. Excellent. Aha! Barbarians! Nice. Uh, civic boost. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Chandragupta. Lovely to meet you. Chandragupta. No, nope, it's not gone to my head, it's just gone to your muscles. Grief. Okay. Honour to meet you. We would love to sample your hospitality. There he is. So we've now got a... Thank you. Knowledge of writing has been boosted. Candy has also given us plus two faith in our city. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. One envoy. Thank you very much. Writing is boosted. Meta civilization. We have another era score, which means we are up to 11. Okay, that's good. And we've met another civilization. Excellent. So let's grab this little hut here. Masonry is advanced. Perfect. Thank you for that. Another plus one era score. And we've completed a quest for Kabul City. Have we? What was the quest? I've no idea what it was, but we now have two with them. Excellent. So when we get three, we'll get plus two production in every city with a barracks or stable when producing units. Okay. Well, hopefully that will help. We can keep Kabul. That would be fantastic. Um, major victory. Let's see what happens here. If we can boost archery and grab that. That would just be fantastic. I'm hoping that's going to go well. 
you're probably going to find is these guys are going to join in as well. Uh, that's the edge of the coast. Let's go up there. Minor victory. Ooh, hoping we don't lose our slingers. Oh, man. We've got promotion. Yeah, we're going to have to take it to heal up. Uh, yeah, that one there. And then next turn, hopefully get stuck in. Okay, let's head over this way. I want to try and meet more city-states as well for the bonus that will give us. Ah, yes, chickens are run away. 30% production towards builders. 50% production on Asian classic area. Melee and range units. No, I don't think so. Not yet. Right, so. Where do we go now? Hmm. I don't think Carball has like a loyalty pressure. No, the city state doesn't. So uh, we'll come back to that in a second. Grow to at least six. Maybe we'll start grabbing this one. And then stop when we get to six. Choose a pantheon. Perfect. Let's just take a lie of the land. What have we got? A few forests. Uh, it depends where we're going to end up going. We could go up here. Chandaguptra's up there. And then we sort of block off this section for a third city. I mean, if we were here, we'd grab that. We'd grab that. This is going to be one, two, three, that one. Here we'd get wheat. I'm assuming one, two, three. Yeah, all of this is cabals. Hmm. Down here would be quite close, wouldn't it? But then we're going to get the bonus. Ah, oh, yes. We will get the bonus, of course, around here. Plus two faith and two culture on each square. That actually could be quite worth grabbing. Because I bet our culture... Oh, we're doing okay. Science is quite low. Religion I'm leading. Maybe we are going to try and grab... A religious great prophet. How are we doing towards the great prophet? Zero. <laughs> but maybe that could be what this city's for. And start a religion. And head down that way. Yeah. Uh, let us link you with that just to make sure. And let's head you out down here. And see what we think once we get there. Right, Pantheon. Uh, so that means we're going to have here... Let's just do that so I can see. Oh my goodness me. Oh, plains, hills, pl I thought these were desert. <laughs> it's because we're not showing them. Huh. Holy site district, get plus one faith from adjacent tundra. Adjacent rainforest. Plus two faith from quarries. I'm looking at the faith one. Because I think we're going to try and go down that sort of route. From tiles with charming or better appeal. Huh? So what have these got? Appeal breathtaking. Appeal breathtaking. So I'm assuming that is going to be... That is going to be good. Amenities, holy district next to a river. Plus one great person points from holy sites. Campus site... Okay. I think we're going to take that one, you know. Yep. Because we're going to have a city down there. Yep. Excellent. Boosted towards mysticism. Perfect. Plus two. The first prophet is a flash of insight in a starry sky. Excellent. So, civic boost and world's first pantheon. We have 14 out of 15. What are we going to build next? Hmm. So, we've got two in here. We want to let that grow a bit. Trader. Yes, we want to trade, don't we? Let's trade. Uh, we've looked at that already. Let us head out across here, see what we can see. Ah, contact with other city-states towards political philosophy. Excellent. Let's just have a look at that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Meet three city-states. Oh, we're going to rush towards that. We're going to get these. Mm. Let's do that and see if we can build a speciality district. Super quick. Uh, I want you. 
Come this way. Okay. Right, how are you doing? I want to boost archery. Perfect. Thank you very much. And whatever happens next. So boosted archery. City-state meeting bonus with Brussels. Perfect. What are we going to get from you? Plus two production in the capital when producing wonders, buildings, or districts. That is very kind of you. Uh, did you have a quest? You do. Train an archer military unit. <laughs> well, we're going to be doing that, aren't we? Um, a new city-state. Good. Next turn. This is not going too bad at all, is it? This is not going too bad. And he's gone. Well, that's good. Um, we do have the bonus... Clear a Barbarian Outpost, which is quite handy. Um, if we can do that, we can boost military tra tradition. Flanking bonuses and such. Um, and then there is also... Is it going to show up here? Find a natural wonder, we've already boosted. This one here will get a boost towards bronze working. So... I might sort of chase after him, to be honest, and see what we can do. Uh, let's head over this way. Lovely green and fertile lands this side. But we're happy over, We're happy down here. We're happy down here. So if I went here... Let's just move one forward. Yeah, okay. And then we'll think about it next time. I'm never going to be able to catch him. Oh, has he been captured or...? Water, water oh, wow. everywhere. Nor any drop to drink. Late, Repa... Two-tile natural wonder appears as the lake provides plus two culture, plus two gold, plus one production, and fresh water. Wow, that is... Oh, there it was. That is a lovely... It's right on the dragon's back. It's got a watery back. That would be a lovely thing to have by your city, wouldn't it? Wow. Okay, bing bong. Let's carry on. I'm not going to tell you what that bing bong was. See if you know. Let me know in the comments below. Regular viewers would know what that bing bong was. Have a sip of tea. Doesn't mean my tea's ready. Mm. Okay, he's saying here. One, two, three. And that's going to overlap quite a lot. I'm thinking down here somewhere. One, two, three, we'll get the wheat. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. We'll get all of that. Because you, one, two, three. You're going to get everything. One, two, all the way down here. Yeah, I think I'm going to come one of these here. Um, okay, let us see. Can I reach that one? No, let's do that one. Yikes. I might end up losing that slinger if I'm not careful. I thought Clay yeah. must feel happy in the... Okay, research. Uh, let us go for archery. That is literally one turn and it's done. Granary. Yes, please. We'll go for that. Uh, let's have a look. I'm thinking one more square over. So we can reach that. And we're just a little bit further away. One, two, three. One, two. That sort of overlap a bit, even here. Or there, and then we can have one, two, three. We've got space for another city over there. Let's go there. May I make a suggestion? Yes. Empire lines, we'll keep an eye on loyalty. Yes, that's fine. Loyalty is mainly affected by the number and nationality of citizens of the near city. Having lots of your own population within nine tiles. Yeah, that's fine. And governors. Knowledge is advanced in sailing. Inspirational sight of the Dead Sea fills the citizens of our new city of Aksu with joy. We have 17 out of 25. Or if we can get to 25, that would be fantastic. You are going to stay there. Tech boost of sailing. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's have a look. Anything interesting? What's that? Sheep. New continent discovered. Antarctica. Yep. Nice. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be cold there. That's just what they've decided to call it. Right, it's going to be slow growth here, first of all. Let's get this. But we are going to get in here. Uh, let's have a look. These bonuses, which is fantastic. Faith and culture. Although that is taking 60 turns. Let's just... Can we buy... 
something in here. We can buy a monument. Yes. Get that expanding quicker. That would be a very good idea. Um, and then a builder. Yep. Good. Okay, so... Where are we going to send you? I'm going to actually move you to down here. And then you're going to do your trade route up there. Uh, you are going to die if we don't get out of there. Let's move back here. New continent discovered. Yeah, we told us about that already. Next turn. Use my trade route this way. May the forces of evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to the... Thank you. And let me just actually remember, we get diplomatic bonuses. If I'd only opened that square there, I could have sent the trade route to Patna and got increased diplomatic bonuses there, but we're not going to get that for now. I'm going to go to Karakorum and get the food and the production. Currency is advanced. Excellent. But when we get a chance, we will... Uh, upgrade to an archer. He, I'm going to move here and he's going to still follow me, isn't he? I don't think he's going to survive. We shall see what we can do. Holy sight. Plus, plus two faith from each adjacent natural wonder tile. That will be good. Wow, look at everything that's boosted. This is fantastic. We are going to fly through. Religious we're leading. Science we're suddenly going to fly through this. Culture we're leading. <laughs> Religion we're leading. Yeah. Culture we're leading. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Ah, uh, oh, hello. Major victory. Should we sort of sneak in and have a look? Yeah. There we go. City-state meeting bonus. Excellent. Toronto, what do you give us? Influenced by me. Good. Uh, what is your quest? Destroy one bad outpost within five tiles of the city. I bet there's one around. We will find out. Yep, that's fine. Yes, that's fine. Yes, that's fine. Boosted currency. Trading post created in Quacorum. 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 Whatever it was called. Oh. Ah, they've left me alone. Right. Let us... Fortify until healed. On the hill tile. We're hiding in the hills. Let's see how we do. Let's see if we can find a barbarian outpost near Toronto, which would be good if we could. Oh, hello. I'm Indian's best neighbor. Because I'm so far away. Well, that's very kind of you. Quick sip of tea. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Uh, let us send him. He's unhappy with me. Let's, excuse me. Let's have a look. Unfriendly. Why are you unfriendly with us? Unknown reason. Plus five unknown reason. He likes, tries to conquer neighbouring civilizations and likes civilizations that are not his neighbours yet. Let us send a delegation. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Fine. If that's what it's like. Can't see this barbarian encampment anywhere. Nope. Okay. Next turn. Oh, I see. You won't take my delegation, but I'm going to take yours. Yeah. Okay. All right. I see how it is. Will you take mine now? Let's see. You're obviously around. Oh, all right. Okay. Excellent. Good. Are we friends now? Are you feeling happier with me? Yes, you should be. Unfriendly. <laughs> funny guy. Funny guy. Uh, you can stay there. Okay, how long have we got until 3 to 23 turns? If we can boost a few things, I reckon we'll get to 25. Uh, not boost. If we can get some of those ones we boosted, that would be great. Okay, choose production. Uh, what are we about to get here? Yeah, holy sight in three turns. Warrior archer. Let's get an archer. Uh, yep, you can head around this way. New city-state quest. Inspiration for military tradition. Which should be clear barbarian outpost. Okay, we'll do that. And I'm guessing we're influenced by just me. What do we get from you then? Uh, Zanzibar. 
plus four gold in the capital when it kicks in. Excellent. So that should go up. Nope. Are we getting that? Where's Zanzibar? Zanzibar! Zanzibar. One envoy. Just said we had... Envoy sent zero. Oh, were we not the first to meet them? Ah, uh, we weren't the first to meet them. That's what it was. Okay, fair enough. Let's head up here. Next turn... Let's go up into the mountains. No, nothing up there. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in astrology. Right. So, yeah, let's go a little bit further. Choose research. Let's start grabbing some of these. Five turns, five turns. What have we got left? Between zero and 19 turns. Well, we know we're going to have 10 turns when it tells us. So, uh, this would be handy to get the fishing boats here so let's get that and then we'll probably go for this one so let's get sailing first and then that build will be done and we can build there we now have the opportunity to appoint a governor to it was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down okay we'll come back to that so what do we want to do here ha so we've got Raina, which will acquire tiles in a new city faster. That could be actually very good for our new small city. 20% increase in science and culture. Considering how much science and culture we'll be getting by our smaller second city, that could be good. Towards campuses, great people points generated in the city are doubled. Very, very strong with that one. All builders get one more build. 100% plots. Uh, religious pressure to adjacent cities. Amani is always good for city-states, but we're sort of doing okay on those. I'm thinking Pingala for a change. Yes. Uh, into Aksu. There we go. Our governor is now on their... Five turns and you'll be there. Good, good, good. Um, let's maybe get... Governor title, envoy, government plaza... We just got to build a speciality district and we'll get that. We're going to build a holy site here. I might just even switch from, excuse me, Aksu. Plus two, plus two, plus four. Wow. Adjacent natural wonder. And we could have bonuses from down there as well. Yep, that's going to go there. So that then should give us that boost. If we come out of there and go back in. Is it not? Speciality District. Hmm. Founder Pantheon has been boost. Oh, it's cleared something out of there. Oh, there we go. An envoy with Brussels City State. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Okay, what are we going to go for? Political philosophy. Yeah, we're going to go for this one. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, we're going to hold site here, just out of interest. No. Okay. So what shall we go for? Stonehenge. No suitable location. No suitable location. That's a shame. Must be adjacent to stone. Adjacent to a camp. Uh, I think... Do these take a camp? Or is it just a luxury resource? Maybe. Let's have another... Arch or another settler? Should we expand again? Maybe an archer first. And then a settler. And we've got an archer to go with our settler and still leave one at home. Okay, you'll go there next. Uh, you're just going to heal up in the mountains. Camp up in the mountains. See how you feel in the morning. Leading in culture, not too good in science. Domination victory is low. Leading in religious. Okay. Ah, oh, you're feeling better. Excellent. Mysore and Patna. Okay, he's growing. Uh, let's just have a look at the overall score. Not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. I feel like this game's going very well. There we go. Um, you are you were just going to alert on the edge there. You are going to head round here. See what you can see. 
This is lots of wide open space, isn't it? Lots. Oh, hello. Let's see if we can help you out. Okay. I might just send you on an automatic... Automatic exploration, I think, after this. Once again, we have the opportunity to enhance our powers of governance. Excellent. We can use... We Very are now good. ready to choose where to build our government building. It is not that Very life for sure nice. is a strong economy begins with a strong... Okay, one thing at a time. Um, so if we promoted you, plus 20% production towards Theatre Square, plus 20% production towards campus buildings. But I want to get this one. Great people points per turn in the city are doubled. So... I mean, we are going to want science, but theatre to go with the culture. I think we'll go this one here. Yep. Let's do that. Uh, you are going to go on automatic exploration. Off you go. Are we still not... Still not to 14 turns. So, we could still get... Uh, let's have a look. What do we need? Uh, irrigation, clearing of marsh, harvesting, plantations, hanging gardens, masonry, ancient walls. Yeah, we're going to want to get that, aren't we? Let's do that. Uh, can we help you out? Oh, you, they've gone. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> let's let's just wander around and see what's going on. You're starting to send out for your third city. Ah, oh, here we go. So there's obviously an encampment down here somewhere. Let's move you out. And we're going to build... Ooh, Government Plaza. So if we went next to this... Let's read what that says. A district placed once in your empire to commemorate your government choices provides 8 plus loyalty per turn to this city and an increase of plus 1 to the adjacency bonuses being earned by any adjacent districts and awards a governor title. Huh. So we're getting plus 2 faith from each natural. Does that mean awards, uh, an increase of plus one to the adjacency bonus is being earned. Yes, we're already getting plus two faith because we're next to the natural wonder from this here. It will increase that, which I think would be fantastic. That could be pretty, pretty good. Takes three turns. Yeah, we're going to do that right there. Yep. So that now, let's have a look at this. Aksu should be getting. And is there anything that's going to actually show us that? Uh, a bit hard to see, isn't it? <laughs> well, we'll be getting it anyway. So let us move. Oh, an encampment. We can grab that. Government establishing Aksu. Excellent. So he's now given us. 20% increase in science and culture, which is brilliant. Uh, okay, that's for the winning score. So, leading in religious, fourth in dominance, leading in culture. We're going to be catching up in science because we've got so many boosts. Hello, open borders. Um, yeah, why not? We want to make friends with him. Goodbye. He's more musclier than me, so, you know got to be careful. Uh, where has... There he is. He hasn't seen our city, which is good. Nice. Military tradition has been boosted. Thank you very much. That's probably jumped us up a bit here. No, not really. Um, City-state rewarded an envoy. So what do we have in here now? One and one. We haven't got any we can send out. Oh, let's just... How are we doing on our great people points? Oh, we're not leading. India. Got to get our great people points going. I want that great profit. Barbarian camp destroyed. Up to 19 out of 25. I reckon this turn or the next turn, it's going to say 10 turns. And then that's going to be it. Oh, that's mine. I saw the red and thought, oh my goodness. The Barbarians. Oh, no, that's us. We're red as well. Yay, bonds working as advanced. Excellent. So there's going to be a camp around here somewhere. Let's maybe head out this way and have a little little nosy. 
Okay. Oh, there we go. Third city. Civilizations have uncovered new technologies and civics. There we go. That's going to be. May it, though, I suggest that we construct a government building? Yep. Well, we're going to do a third city first because we can't actually do any other things. Government buildings, I mean. Government title. Excellent. What would this be? Great profit points generated per turn in the city are doubled. Yes, please. That is fantastic. So we can get some holy buildings going in here. Oh, it hasn't actually built a holy site yet. Of course it hasn't. 16.13. Let's do that. Uh, let's have a look. So loyalty is fine. One district, one possible. Yeah, okay. How's our great people points going? Eight, ten. We're only a couple behind, I reckon, with a bit of a push. We can do something here. Mm, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like there's anybody over there. All right, let's send you wandering around again. I might even... Oh, Stonehenge has been built. So there goes a religion. Any minute. There we go. Ancient era, nine turns. That's what we thought, wasn't it? Uh, so let's bring you back to here. What have we got? We've got you down there. Don't really want... I'll, I'll just sort of leave you here so no barbarian camps suddenly spawn in this area. Just open up the, the fog. And then... What are we at? 19. I don't think we're going to make 25, are we? Which is fine. Uh, we are going to leave you on alert. We are going to send you over there. And we're going to wrap it up. So, hit the blue B in the corner to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode of Civilization VI Rise and Fall. Thank you very much for all of your support. It's been greatly appreciated. The channel is growing well. I'm very pleased and I'm really enjoying playing through this as well. So I will see you tomorrow for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.